Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Rajas Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. Let me say a big thank you to those who are supporting us. Kaka kuna story nilifanya nikalia machozi. Watoto sita mayatima. Wananyeshewa kwa nyumba. Wanalala nyumba ambayo imeisha mabati. Eneo la kitutu cha Chenoth. Ka, eh, kitutu cha South County ya Kisi. Leo hii tulikuwa pale. Tumeanza kupasua miti ili tuwajenge nyumba. Mabati mama yao na baba yao waliacha imeisha. Ni watoto maskini, ni watoto mayatima. The parents died so many years ago, about 7 to 10 years ago. Wakachwa peke yao. Na wengine waliacha wadogo, lakini wamekua wakubwa. Kaka, mayatima ni wa mungu. Bebile inaniambia kwamba kisaidia yatima, umemsaidia mungu. The Bible says, kuna siku katika siku ya kiyama utaulizwa. Ukaniona nikiwa njaa, hauku nipa chakula. Ukaniona sina nyumba, hauku nijengea. Ukaniona sina nguo na huku nivarisha. Hao ni kina nani? Ni hawa watoto mayatima. Ni naomba vile tumeanza. Tafadhali. Unaweza ni support na mabati moja, mabati mawili, mabati kumi, mabati shirini, misumari kilo kumi. Na mungu atakubariki sana. Tunatafuta mabati thiratina tano, tuende pale, wale watoto tuwajenge nyumba na hata wazazi kutoka ndani ya kaburi watafurahia na kutuombea mema turudi katika siasa kaka ni sema hivi Kenya ina ugonjwa mkubwa Kenya is ailing and whoever will treat Kenya i don't know who before i proceed there is a traumatizing video clip that is circulating on social media. I watched this clip and I almost cried. Nililia machozi. Nilimskiza huyu muze. Nikasema, eh, Kenya kwanza kweri ina uwo gonjwa. Eida wa saratani, ukimwi, ama kuna ugonjwa wa kiakili. Can we listen to this video clip before I proceed? Ni aibu sana chief aombe ombe na alikuwa mtumishi wa serikali. It is only two months. I cannot develop myself. Na mbusi yangu iko pale seretion. Na na na, na kashokon. I don't know serikali watachukua na manakari hawa wamesema kwanza ukitaka kumaliza location toboa chief. That is why tunangolewa sasa. Ya yati ya mbusi yake imeenda watoto aliuliwa sasa ya amepaki peke yake. Na mama na nini. Na yule ya parket ya, ya chemoe, ya, ya tulu, mbusi imeenda. Na hata saa hii mimi na, na omba nataka kuenda kupumusika. Because I was supposed to be in Damna Olip. Na sasa mina ona pato na kaswa kuangeswa stress. Na sitaki kukupa mimi mwenyewe. Hii mwesimbili ni hile serikali wanibatia ni stare. O nikengwajia kwa ando oba mali ya serikali. So I can borrow that one and it's end. Stag tena kuita wetua. Watoto wangu wa wako nyumbani, mimi mwenyewe na kipikia, na lala peke yangu na kuku. Mbaka subu yata subu yi wakati na kucha, nasi manilisi ya ila wa njawi ya mbusi imepake kume. Ile batu gula nyasi. So, serikali, na amini hii kitu ayusi sinda serikali. Thank you. Kaka Sungura, Niliangalia hiki clip ni kalia machozi. I really cried. Huyu chifu ni kutoka eneo la baringo. Huyu chifu is supposed to retire as we speak. Lakini serikali haitaki kumpatia nafasi. Huyu chifu amezeka anafaa kwenda nyumbani ya pumzike. Lakini chifu Hataki kupewa nafasi na serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Huyu chifu vile mmesikia analia ni baba ya watu. Lakini umesikia analala peke yake kama mbuzi. Hata serikali haijari mahali analala. Hata serikali haijari chakula nacho kila. Hata usalama wake umesikia vile mesema. Ana hofia, 
anaweza akauliwa wakati wowote na umesikia akisema bandits wanasema ukitaka kumaliza location huwa chief but from this kaka sungura still Kenya inataka kupeleka polisi Haiti watu wanapiwa baringo kupiwa watu wanauliwa baringo kuuliwa lakini kwa hayo yote serikali iko na nguvu iko na guts ya kupeleka polisi Haiti badala ya kupeleka security baringo Kenya yetu wakati Canada a developed country is fighting to evacuate its people from Haiti Kenya kwanza government is fighting to take our people to Haiti Umesikia juzi ati mama Rejo ameunda committee state house ya kuombea polisi wanaenda Haiti Na hiyo committee inapewa allowance kwani polisi hawezi ombewa na pasta makanisani na Mungu asikie maombi lazima mtengeneze committee ya kukaa state house Ukiweka request useme kila kanisa Kenya muombee maaskari wetu wanaenda Haiti. Mungu hawezi sikia maombi, lazima watu watoke kisi, lazima watu watoke Nyamira, lazima pasta atoke Mombasa, waende committee Nairobi ndio Mungu asikie maombi. Hii serikali lakini nafikiria namna gani? Akenya tuulizane maswali kweli. Our government needs some medical attention. Madaktari wako strike. Kindiki kazi yake ni kurandaranda na makoti. Leo yuko kisi, kesho yuko wapi, kesho ngine, na makoti tu na chip threats hazina maana. Hiyo ndiyo kazi anaweza. Na kuapa kusema tutawamaliza, tutawanyorosha, tutawashtaki, tutawashika. Eh? Chip threats. Na kutembea na masuti na madege hapa juu. Hiyo ndiyo anaweza. Sikia mambo chifu amesema kaka sio mambo yangu Kenya kwanza mziseme mimi nawapiga ni chifu wenu wa mtu wa serikali amesema sikia viranalia Baringa hakuna usalama machifu wanauliwa Baringo Maafisa wa kiserikali wanamalizwa Baringo Umesikia chifu akieleza paka ametaja majina fulani akauliwa na mtoto wake fulani akauliwa F- umesikia vile anataja lakini bado serikali Haitaki kupeleka polisi Baringo inataka ipeleke polisi Haiti. Nani aliroga Kenya hii? Tuulizane maswali ya kiukweli. Who bewitched this country? Nani aliroga Kenya hii? Hawa mapolisi mnapeleka Haiti waende kupigana na majambazi, si muwapeleke Baringo basi. Waende wakangangane huko na mabandits wa Kenya. Ndugu zangu at you want to take 1000 police officers to Haiti when our people are dying in Baringo what are we giving as a priority we have lost nationalism we have lost patriotism na hao watu mnapeleka ni watoto wa wengine mmesikia kutoka US eh mmesikia kuna huyu mtu kutoka US amesema kwamba Kenya kwanza iko mbioni kupeleka polisi Haiti kwa sababu ya pesa. Kuna pesa wanapewa. Eh? Kaka hayo si maneno yangu. Yapo katika vyombo vya habari. Just Google. It's on internet. It's not my own words. America imesema kwamba Kenya kwanza inasukuma polisi Haiti kwa sababu kwamba wanataka pesa. Sio maneno yangu kaka. Na muziseme nimesema hivyo. Ni maneno yenu nyinyi kama serikali nyinyi wenyewe. Mambo chifu amesema hapa si maneno ya kaka. Ni maneno yenu ya kiserikali. Not my own words. Chifu anafaa kuritaya lakini mumemtuma kazini. Mesikia anasema he's supposed to rest. But you are pushing him to work without even allowances, without security, without food without shelter what a shame to this government anyway si ni serikali yenu nyinyi si yangu mimi ni serikali yenu 
God bless you ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante ni san.